So yes, finally, finally, finally! Though of course we're back with another Pokemon video. So yeah, we got the next review all right here really quick. Um, this probably shouldn't take as long though. Again, it's really late at night, really, really hot where I am though, so... Yeah, you're not just gonna take a shower, cool off, and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, that's pretty good stuff right here, of course, like I said. Um, some, again, minor little stuff though for the review and stuff like that. Um, yeah, though, um, got some good stuff right here. Um, really nervous because there's a lot of good things in this episode that I really do want to go into. So, yeah, I'm gonna get started though, of course. So, yeah, hopefully, this won't again take too, too long. I just really want to get this, like, just, there's some stuff in this review already. So, yeah, of course, Ash, of the first surprise episode, actually just goes right in, like, this episode goes right into everything. So, you don't need to like skip a beat or do whatever. This episode goes right into everything. So yeah. Of course Ash actually just gets the invitation to Val Wolfner. So of course this, um, we'll go back to Sinnoh. Of course we get a callback with this first fight with um Luxray and stuff like that. Of course, we gotta notice that Ash like his journey design so uh, journey design with you know journey art style with the Sino outfit, which I actually do like though again. I feel like everybody should like, get, your, get represented. We'll probably get like him more Kalo stuff later. We know we've been to Kalos a couple of times. I feel like we're gonna get that maybe kind of later a little bit though. But yeah, of course we see after Z Crystal, which kind of was unique for this episode. I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, it's definitely gonna review this episode. It was worth it. So yeah, of course Ash playing. Ash playing. I guess they got a low and stuff like that. Even kept the um the Z Crystal that uh, I think Tapu Coco gave him, or I think it was Sogolio like, Donala who basically updated Ash Z Crystal. So yeah, so yeah, of course we see them. Uh, getting ready to battle and stuff like that, of course, you know, it's a big event because I think after this, I think Ash does upgrade, I think, to like a later class, I believe. I believe that happens though, so yeah. Of course, we go to the sidelines, of course, and like I said, it's a really big event, of course, Ash going on to master class, and Voldemort again being a Sinnoh Dream Leader has a lot of respect for electric types, so of course, we could see them battle and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm um, gonna see Lux Ray and Lucario come out, really good stuff though, of course. The Dark Skulls could be super um, excited and of course shocked about it. So of course, Battle begins, we see Electric Terrain go off, I believe, so it's all this electric technique stronger. We see Ash trying to go in one shot with the Aura Sphere, but I believe um, it kind of fails up and stuff like that, of course. And Lucario unfortunately takes a Thunder, and of course, um, Ash calls it back so he can charge it a little bit better. Of course, he sees Gengar and uses Gengar speed to get his advantage, which actually is pretty cool, though, of course. Uh, we see it kind of, you know, basically just kind of while the blocks right in like the first couple of seconds and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's pretty cool there. Uh, we see I'm um, getting called back, though, so Voltron's like, okay, I gotta change my strategy a little bit. So, yeah, uh, we see that. We see Rotom come in. I um, mean, of course, you know, to match, I think, the fan version of Rotom, which is Rotom, which is like, I said Rotom. Roton, which is electric, which is an electric type, electric type. Man, I cannot speak today. So yeah, uh, we see Gengar, of course, right here. Um, we, no, we see him about a battle. I think we see Gengar here. What? Yeah, whatever. So yeah, of course we see um, Gengar, of course, you know, trying to get the upper hand using his speed against it. And of course we see um, Roton, of course, go to the sky as well. On um, this fan version, of course, we see him about the sky. We see um, Gengar kind of get a little bit static up, I think, because it's a special ability, or like, I think it's static. It might be. I, 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 I like, for life for me, I cannot remember right now. So of course, uh, we see it basically kind of just get one shot though. So yeah, unfortunately Gengar, rip the home of Gengar. Again, it got just destroy a model up again like it did, like went out on the Surge's on, um, I think, Apprentice, I believe, or next person knows get to go for the gem as or as he, I remember that happened though. I think, um, was it Surge, the 10 Surge? You know, the meme was the for his right shape. Um, I believe he did go on leave to train and his like assistant was, you know, kind of like the next person basically, um, kind of, um, basically, look, kind of took over, didn't really take over, so yeah, of course we see Ash, um, oh, Pikachu, of course, I guess, hashtag, I, I, I guess, like, I guess, well, just, just, I guess, maybe thinking, like, Ash probably uses the crystal and stuff like that, of course, but no, um, Ash is just uses a different strategy, of course, we have to trap it, of course, with Pikachu's Electroweb, and of course it does, and it wins, so yeah, of course we see now, um, Volker coming out with his, um, Electivire, which means you try to one-shot it, but then, of course, I think he uses, was it, no, it wasn't Miracle, it was, not lightning rod. I can't remember. So they can use sort of electric attacks. It actually pulls out a double fire punch, which is, it, which is insane though. So, when I, when I saw this for the review, I was like, what attack was that? And I was like, oh yeah, it's a fire punch. So, it actually is pretty cool though. So yeah, um, I can't believe all, all the elements of punches, I believe. Because we see that we're used to under control Paul. We see the little park break and protect. Like every Electivire has like protect now at this point in the series. So Paul did and Gary's did as well. I did actually just watch that fight against him and Ash. But he's um, going on the center region and stuff like that. So that was pretty cool. I can't remember the thing over today. But yeah, you know, my camera just kind of, uh, yeah, whatever, just drop frames, whatever. So yeah, of course we see, um, of course, dude, them going both, both like double iron tail. And unfortunately, um, Pikachu gets overpowered though. So of course he calls it back. I just goes to Lucario, Lucario again trying to do another Aura Sphere, and I believe um, they get both um, blown back from their um, Fire Punch for uh, Electrifier doing this Fire Punch. Lucario doing this Aura Sphere, of course, Ash tries to trick it up, to change it up and trick it up a bit, a little bit with um, Double Team. We see 
Alright, the fire is thunder. Hmm. First song thunder effect though. So yeah, of course we see um the horse. I think is it horse fear? Oh the horse fear and um War Sphere and Double Team. That's actually pretty cool though. So yeah, of course we have the double on War Sphere and double, um, double, double Team, of course, and they start to clash up together a little bit more. Uh, of course we see um, Lucario come out of the smoke really, um, pretty fine. Of course we see um, Ulner actually call back Electivire and use some banner roll time again. Of course, you know, basically using the opportunity for Lucario being down, of course, um, basically, you know, where is it? Where is it? I don't know. I believe it's using less resort right here, so it can power up. Um, was like really low, for its HP is really low. Then of course, of course, um, I said of course, of course, of course, Lucario uh, wins it pretty solidly. But yeah, we already know it took too much damage, so it has to kind of be a little bit more on its tails. Of course, we see Gluki kind of get hyped up for the battle and stuff like that. Of course, it's actually the strategy. Then of course, we see um, the like, terrain come back up in a bit. Back. Um, of course, we see now we see Lucario and actually lots of battle again, so it's pretty cool. Um, you know, and of course, they both actually just get knocked out in the chalk though, so. Yeah, rip Lucario. Rip the home of Lucario, sadly. Yeah, and Gengar. Just, again, we're like, oh yeah, Lucario was one of his first fights. Just, actually, one of his first fights. Just one shot. So, yeah, of course, now we already know about it happened next, so of course. So, of course, Ash calls back and Pikachu for his last fight. Of course, they're on both. Both are come back to the call back. I like Tobire. They tried to go to Iron Tail again, I think, once more, but it utterly fails. Then, of course, Pikachu tried to pull out everything he's got, but of course, he realizes it's not enough. So, of course, he tried to go back in for another double Iron Tail, and of course, gets overpowered once more. But of course, Ash's idea uses the move, which we haven't seen in a little. It's been a pretty not long time, but yeah. Of course, we see um, Ghost for his impression of it and stuff like that, of course. So, yeah, Ash did actually just, I think, I thought like first Oak probably dropped it off to him, or he just went back home and got it, because he's still technically in Kento, technically. Because we know he's not Gallic, but we already know he's technically in Kento, though, technically. So, you can just probably just go back home and got it, so yeah. Um, and of course, we see Ash's, um, I think, 10 million Thunderbolts. I think that was the call in the. Let's call it, I think that was called like that in the dub, I believe. Or the you know, English version of it, so yeah. Again, that seems actually really cool for both English and Japanese for You know, Ash doing his times 10 final 100 Big Bang Kamehameha, but actually he doesn't do it here. It'd be cool if uh, we got that kind of call back there, because that animation there in that episode was really good for, for, great for like Ola and just in general, like team, that scene, all that stuff was really great though, so yeah. And of course, though, we see Amalek's um, because we already know it's going to lose anyway, though. It just gets completely overpowered. Can't um, absorb all the electricity, of course, it gets knocked out. Of course, we see that um, Ash Pikachu. Um, Colors hat, so I mean, Galar, um, you know, outfit, journey's outfit hat. So that probably will be available in probably Sword and Shield later, or even in the games, because they did, I think they did that for Pokemon Go. I bet we get like all Ash's hats. Of course, um, Ash wins, I think he, believe, he moves up to the Master Class now, so he's in that kind of like, tier and stuff like that. Of course, he's really excited about it. Face more opponents to keep going on and stuff like that, of course. So yeah, of course, you know, what we're going to congratulate them and stuff like that, make him on there. So he's basically up there with the gym leaders tier, like Lance, I think, like Ryan, Leo. Um, so yeah, and B, I think. I think B kind of got up there a little bit, though. I think she's in that class. She might be. I don't know. But yeah, um, she got um, pretty back up there, too. So yeah, really good episode, though, of course. And we get a little bit more of a teaser for Cynthia, because a lot of people, I already saw fan art of, like, of, you know, having the Ash Battle in the background. We see B back there. Of course, we see Ryan. Again, this was a really big televised event, though. So of course, B's got probably start the Ash. But again, we, we already knew it was going to be a fight anyway. It was already teased. Opener was already teased. But yeah, now we got Cynthia teased. So Ash and Cynthia, um, I think they never really fought in Sinnoh, though. So. That's gonna be a treat. So yeah, when I saw this, I was like, yo, you can <laughs> yeah. Um, of course we saw Leo, we saw um, of course, like I said, Ryan, B, Lance, um, Cynthia again, Bing doing stuff like that. It's really insane, really crazy, really crazy. So, yeah. Um pretty much to go ahead and video there. But yeah, again, the episode really great, really great animation. Ash, of course, being overpowered, like I said before. We got the callbacks to Seno. Um whew, sorry about that there. But yeah, we got the callback to Sinnoh, which was really great. I loved that so much. Uh, we got Cynthia, which I didn't see in the beginning of all of this. Um, but yeah, because it shows you like, all this stuff. It's kind of spoilers, but I didn't see it at all. I didn't care. I just opened the world with tabs first, which I usually do. I didn't see anything before that. When I saw Cynthia, I was like, oh my god, Sinnoh fans are about to get really good. We got Damn Pro Remix, we got Arceus, we got Dawn coming, we got just Dawn coming back in the anime, which again, part one, still, I still baffled at it. I was still there. But yeah, pretty good episode though. Again, I'll upload this video. Probably, maybe soon. Probably when I'm done with it. Probably like finishing and stuff like that. Actually, I might. Or I might do something else. Like I have another video that I need to get out really quick. I know I've got some shorts I'm gonna do in the next couple of days. I just haven't, I haven't had any opportunity to do it because I was at times recording. I was tired on Thursday. Today, right now, it's Friday. At times recording because I'm recording the episode right now. Not when it's coming right now, but just right now. Um, I believe I um I oh I don't know what that was great. Um, 
last episode, I was really tired yesterday. I had to record like three videos and I was good. I was like drained out and I still kind of was. But really this episode really got me back up though, a little bit though. So yeah, again, doing YouTube videos like this after I'm really exhausted helps me out a little bit. Even doing shorts, which has been doing really good for my channel. I'll get more of those out. I got a couple I really need to get out that I've not really been stalling on, but I forgot that I need to. I think for like Beyblades, like really, like the new um, Guilty Longinus or Lunor. For I need to study do Dark Pulse for sure. Dokin got something as well with their um Dallas Celebration live stream coming up. So yeah, I got a lot of things in the next couple of days. Again, I can tell them all the short time to make them like 10 plus five, 15 hour videos. Yeah, really great episode. Love it. We got the teaser for everything. But yeah, so yeah, I actually being in the course of the Ultra League now. We got some more stuff, some more story stuff. Again, Go didn't really do anything. He was kind of more of a cheerleader. But yeah, I feel like it's been focused on Ash and Z Crystal, which we really didn't get into like a teaser in the beginning and near the end. But yeah. We've got a lot of good single callbacks, but I and stuff like that, so yeah. See you guys later, though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Good luck. Oh, good luck. Good luck. Enjoy. Stay safe. Wash your hands. God bless all of you if you're going out with more math. I'm going to really need to do. And if you can get and if you can get vaccinated, make sure you can if you can't wear areas. So what do you think about all this info? And if you're like, you know, it's still going on and stuff like that, uh, if your country is great and stuff like that, that's great. So what do you think about the episode though? Of course, if you like it, you hate it. I think it's great, great job of you know, a little bit more world building what's gonna come up next because we are saw Volkner in the, in the Iris episode and B, of course, you're under those gonna be a rematch. We see Scythia, we see Ryan, of course, Ash face a few challenges. Again, really just focus on Ash though. Go didn't really do anything that much. I actually the battle was actually pretty cool. Um, I didn't write, I mean, I just saw the ending and it was like, even then, it's like, okay, we kind of already saw this pretty much already on a little bit. So, yeah, hopefully the thumbnail didn't for you guys. Even though I don't have that done yet. So, yeah. See you guys there though, get up.